specialize in uh, reactor system control and technology. I could not see any future for what I wanted to do within the industry, so I worked independently financing the technology and at the same time researching it. And since 2002, more or less full time I spent on development of the technology. But it's been a long haul process. We have communications from 14th of June, two th sorry, 14th of June 1985 in NASA, where we proposed this technology. And uh, we have uh, developed the technology over years in stages, but in past five or six years has come totally in a very meteoric uh, scale up that we are literally developing everything and different aspects of the technology on a daily basis. The whole of science will change from what we know in one way or another in the very near future. As I gave a presentation to scientists in um, institute or organization known as IMEC in 2005, uh, a scientist who was part of the directors of one of the subsidiaries of this establishment, he was walking in the room, up and down. We asked him, why are you pasting? He said, we were talking recently that very soon somebody will discover how gravity is done and the whole ball game changes. And now this guy is here and explaining it how it's done. You have to understand that this technology has been evaluated by University of Brussels, Flemish side, BUV, by Professor Van Avonier, initially, for the assessment for the Flemish or Belgium uh, federal or governmental side of the aerospace. And they said initially, yes, the technology is correct in feasible, it's feasible that it produces energy. Then the technology was assessed by independent um, commercial entity to see if it can, a copy can be made. And they said, yes, it can be done. Then uh, we start building prototypes, different prototypes over four or five years. And then uh, we saw the first leaps in Belgium in mid-2006, 2006, 2006, 2007, it was carried on. And in 2008, with the invitation from the Iranian government, we built the first proper gravitational external movement in Tehran, which has been tested. And now the system is very floating and we can fly, we can move any movement we like. And as we have said very recently on the Cash Foundation Forum, if the Russian Space Agency and the American NASA Space Agency will not be able to assist their um, astronauts, which, is, uh, which are in the space lab, as the Americans don't have any more space program till 2020, and the Russian rocket has recently exploded, they are not launching anything till they find out what's happening, we are so advanced that we are prepared to intervene and if need be to bring the astronauts back. And we are preparing ourselves for such a demonstration. We have shown the system to the scientists at University of Kent. They have seen the physical um, system. We have shown the videos of the weight reduction and lift to the scientists and officials from the Belgian government and within the Belgian structure. Uh, in past three years, they know exactly what it stands. The Americans know what it is there, and the, with the Canadian government, when they arrested me in Canada last year for 11 days, they have downloaded the whole thing. They know it's very true and very correct. Because in the package of the documents they downloaded and they copied, there are videos of the lift and weight reduction. They know it's correct, and it's a copy of what was developed in Tehran. And uh, why did they uh, capture you, or like what were they looking for? Uh, nobody knows how. The reason that I was arrested on board of a plane on a transit from Brussels to Mexico City uh, on transit in Toronto Airport, nobody knows. I was interrogated at one stage or two days, three days, up to 12 uh, agents and scientists at the same time in the airport of uh, Toronto Airport from 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 o'clock the next day on three days con consecutive days and they've copied everything in my suitcase in my dossier which I was carrying as a scientific 
history. And uh, they were so stupid that they left some of the papers and their documentation. They were in such a hurry to copy in my suitcase. So when I returned, I opened my suitcase because they just received me on the plane back to England to Belgium. Uh, and we put all the documents on the internet. So uh, all the Canadian government document officials copying my things, uh, all the bags, what they had in their hand, keys, uh, what do you call it, um, internet keys, um, hard disks, how many hard disks they, they stole, they copied everything. It's all on the internet. We actually got physical, uh, left all their documents saying certified that my passport, all my documents are carried as correct. It's all is in our hand and the opposition. But like, uh, aren't there like a lot of people who have like problems with you, or like the way uh, you're gonna handle things, or it's against their business as well? We don't have problem with nobody. The the thing is, uh, as um, American naval officer, high-ranking officer, told me in Seoul, in the Hamilton Hotel in 2008, when they asked me to attend a meeting to see their officials. Uh, they said the problem with me is that I don't talk as a scientist, I'm not a theoretical physicist. What I talk, I make systems that shows the reality of what I talk. I'm an engineer. So